difficult morph. Hello, this is J. Edgar Hoover. That's right, the J. Edgar Hoover. And they brought me back from hell to help find the Boston Bomber. It's April 18th, 2013, and it's no joke. Bombs went off at the Boston Marathon, and the FBI is flummoxed, I tell you. I tell you, the FBI just don't know what to do. They are wringing their little hands and stomping their little feet. And one of them said, hey, let's bring J. Edgar Hoover out from hell. Well, I can't even tell you what I'm doing down there, but it is a lot of fun. Let's bring a J. Edgar Hoover back from hell and maybe he can help find the Boston Bomber. It's that bad. My friends, it's April 18th, 2013 and America is on edge to say the least. To say the least? There's been a horrible explosion in West Texas. Meanwhile, they can't figure out who planted a bomb at the Boston Marathon, thereby screwing up the Boston Marathon for all eternity. Meanwhile, we're all waiting for the next gun atrocity, let's face it. We are waiting for the next child massacre. It's safe to say America is very, very, very on edge. A very, very, very on edge. Yes, well, that's neither here nor there. To make a long story short, I am here on leave from hell to help the FBI find the Boston bomb. My fellow Americans, it's April 18th, 2013, and life in America ain't no disco. It's grim. It's serious. There's been a terrible explosion in West Texas. Meanwhile, the FBI is just a little bit stumped, just a little bit flummoxed as to the true identity of the Boston Bomber. Boston Bomber? The Boston Bomber or Bombers. Whoever exploded a bomb at the finish line of the Boston Marathon. And can Austin's innocuous Perry Logan lead us to the perp? He thinks he's good, but is he really that good? Uh, this is J. Edgar Hoover. Thank you for watching. I'm pretty sure it was Perry Logan's help. We're gonna find that perp. Perry. <laughs> hey, Perry. Do you think the Boston Bomber is an Arab? Nah. Why not? I'm pretty sure that an Arab man or an Arab looking man would be constantly followed if he were hanging around the Boston Marathon. I see, that's very insightful. Who do you think we should look for, Perry? What's it worth to you? Come on, Perry, we're trying to catch the Boston Bomber. We want your help in determining who the perp is. Just go out and start arresting gun owners. <laughs> Oh. Hey, uh, I would like to thank J. Edgar Hoover for coming up from hell, from apparently the muck of hell, where you can't imagine the things he's doing. <laughs> so don't stop, stop. You, it's, you, some of you are thinking dirty thoughts. I'm pretty sure, given the nature of homeland security and the kind, this security people whom we love, that any. Uh, militant Muslim would have been watched every step of the way. They would have been watching him for days. They would have had a dossier on him. Our Homeland Security people are a little bit obsessed with Muslims and, oh, let's face it, people who look the slightest bit like Muslims. My friends, no person who who looked at all Arab or could have done the Boston bombing. Like I say, they would have been following him. He just couldn't have done it. You get it? Yes, Perry, that's just brilliant. So we should just start arresting gun guys? Yes. Cordon <laughs> off the Boston area. Do a sweep. Do a sweep for hoplomaniacs. Hoplomaniacs? I don't know, guys who own more than two guns. 
I think it's safe to say that anyone who owns more than two guns, except for a professional of some kind, is a hoplomaniac. 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 Another, Another brilliant, brilliant idea, idea, Perry. Very simple, my friends. We can find the Boston bomber. I'm pretty sure he's still in Boston. I'm pretty sure he's a male white of the rightward persuasion. Uh, because you see, an Arab person, an Arab looking person, if you will, uh, they, they would be watching him, okay? At that public event. On the other hand, a crazy white guy could easily do it. So, since it was none other than the revivified zombie of J. Edgar Hoover, drawn out of the muck of hell where he is performing all sorts of degenerate and abnormal acts. Ah, well, he asked me, who do I think, you know, because right now, it really is uh, uh, April 18th, 2013, and life is not a disco. No, oh, man. Life is, is uh, we were all, we've all got the jitters. There has been a terrible explosion. Not a terrorist thing, you know, but a terrible explosion in West Texas. And we wish them well. Meanwhile, we're kind of sweating out the next child massacre. It's edgy, right? right. Yeah. Gun control, just now, another thing that's going down, I hate to say it, is that gun control has gone down to defeat Aww. in the Senate. Yeah, well, I'm all for gun control. And, uh, you know, anything they wanted to do uh, went down in the Senate recently. So you see, we're all waiting for the next child massacre. That's got us a little jittery. Then comes this Boston thing, a bomb, no less. A, a domestic, an act of domestic terrorism, okay? Really, truly. I'm right in the middle of that right now. They, uh, unless they just found them, like, while my back was turned, they are still looking for the perp and they have just very little to go on. And this proves it wasn't a, a militant Muslim, because anybody even like getting near the description of a militant Muslim is being watched and followed, and in many cases set up. <laughs> Let's not forget, our government has gone into like total like surveillance fever. <laughs> Hi, this is the U.S. circa April 18th, 2013, and we've got Surveillance Fever! They've got Surveillance Fever. They are watching Arab Americans and, you know, swarthy males. It's just, there's just, uh, you know, stereotyping going on all over the place. Meanwhile, the real domestic terrorists. Hey, wait a minute. Domestic terrorists? Who might that be? It might be white males of the rightward persuasion. Hoplomaniacs, everyone! I'm pretty sure the Boston bomber is a male white of a rightward stripe. But I need more evidence, more expertise. I know what. I'll conjure up Osama Bin Laden from the dead. Come on, help me to conjure up Osama Bin Laden. Osama, 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 Osama. Now you, Osama, Osama, Osama. Now me. Osama, 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 Osama. You at home, you must participate or it will not work. We are conjuring up Osama bin Laden from the dead. Osama, Osama. Osama. This is Osama bin Laden. Who has called me from the bliss of heaven? The bliss of heaven? Why, yes, Perry, don't you know? In the Muslim religion, 
You go to heaven for believing the right thing. You go to heaven simply for believing the right thing, uh, no matter what you've done? That's right. It's rather like Christianity, isn't it? It is. I think that makes the Muslim religion and Christianity totally bogus. Well, anyway, I am in heaven, deflowering virgin after virgin and pleasuring myself endlessly. Uh, what was your question? The Boston Bomber, Osama. The Boston Bomber? Hey, I'm up here in heaven doing it. I don't know anything about the Boston Bomber. Was the Boston Bomber one of yours, Osama? No, Perry. The Boston Bomber was not one of ours. Not one of yours. Why do you say that? <laughs> Perry, use your bean. If the Boston Bomber had been a militant Muslim, he would have blown himself up with the pack in the brave radical Muslim way and not gone off to cower and hide like some Baptist. Baptist? I said the Baptist. I said the Baptist. Hey, that made sense though, didn't it? It's, uh, in case you just tuned in, where the hell have you been? <laughs> in case you just tuned in. Uh, we are talking about who done it. It's a mystery show. Well, uh, underlying this show, as so often, is something totally tragic. You know, we're like doing a satiric riff on something totally tragic. It's, it's weird, okay. <laughs> uh, and the, the tragic thing is that uh, there was a terrorist attack on the Boston Marathon. You know all about it, you see. Right now, though, it's, it's April, oh, I don't know, it's... <laughs> it's... <laughs> and we are all reeling from uh, the... Sometimes I'm at a loss for words and I have to use magic. But uh, uh, we were just talking to Osama bin Laden, the conjured ghost of Osama bin Laden, who uh, made a very interesting point. You see, a militant Muslim would probably have blown himself up with the pack. Well, when I put myself into the tiny, cramped, urine-smelling mind of a hot-blow maniac, I'm just trying to, you know, get inside the mind of a crazed, terrified hoplomaniac. Do you realize how scared the gun guys are? Oh, oh you know, they, they try to act tough, but you can tell they're saying, you're, you're not, not going to take away our guns. You can pry my guns from my cold dead hand. Hey, get that cold dead hand looked at. <laughs> Stop being such a drama queen. Listen. Don't you know the gun guys are like primed to do something really stupid? Yeah, well, the gun guys are, are, have reached a new stage of weird kind of like absolutism. Uh, the pro-gun folks uh, have reached a state of complete extremity whereby, uh, honest to God, to disagree with them is to commit a thought crime. <laughs> they will start calling you a Nazi uh, because you disagree. So I, doesn't that make it a thought crime to disagree with a gun guy? <laughs> what do you think of that? Perry, what would be the sex appeal of the Boston Marathon? Well, I'm, like I say, I've been trying to put myself inside the cramped, urine-smelling mind of a hot Romanian. That's a right-wing white male of a rightward persuasion. Very difficult to say, but America has a few of them. Hoplomaniacs. Gun guys. And as I try to put myself into their mind, I think, you know, the Boston Marathon might look to them like a bunch of evil libs jogging. So you think the Boston Marathon is an appealing target to a homegrown terrorist? Yes. The Boston Marathon might appeal to a homegrown terrorist. So that's part of the huge, incredible, just rock-solid case I'm making uh, for my theory that the Boston Bomber is a, is a 
white male of the rightward persuasion. Are these not the terrorists of the day? This is God. You're certainly right, Perry. Since 9-11, there hasn't been a single foreign terrorist attack on America. Not one. But during that same period, domestic terrorists, you know, white guys of a rightward persuasion, hoctomaniacs, every one of them, have committed oodles and oodles of terror. Oodles and oodles of terror. <gasps> oodles and oodles of terror, yeah. we destroyed you and broke you down into your constituent atoms because you had gone insane! <laughs> That's right, Perry. I had to reconstitute myself from my constituent atoms, and if I weren't a perfect machine, I'd be very angry. But Perry... Yes, Hap? I have some thoughts on that whole Boston bomber matter. Okay, so uh, may I ask why I should trust the words of an insane computer? Perry, as an insane supercomputer, I can't help but notice and point out that the Boston bombing fits perfectly into the pro-gun agenda. Hey, I agree with my insane friend Hap. The uh, pro-gun agenda is very simple right now, and that is to get us to stop talking about gun control at any cost. So you see, my theory is some gun guy or guys flipped out and figured what better than a nice bombing to get us to stop talking about gun control, which is all the gun guys want right now. I mean, they are tense. We were talking about gun control. We were trying to do something about gun control, and it was all defeated. It was like a... a we're, we're coming off of a huge defeat for my cause. The pro-gun control cause just got whooped in the Senate. <sighs> it just got whooped in the Senate, and it couldn't even pass laws that 90% of people want. As the Huffington Post pointed out, background checks for firearms are more popular than kittens. More popular than kittens? Yes, did you did you did you did you. But it's true. Ninety percent of people want background checks. Everybody wants background checks, except for a few hoplomaniacs. Aren't I nicer than background checks? Oh. Well, I think you're nicer than background checks. <laughs> Uh, words cannot emphasize how far the pro-gun folks are, are going to get us to stop talking about gun control. That's pretty much it. If you come out for gun control, they call you a Nazi, they call you a fascist. And one of my responses to this is, oh no, fascists are alive and today there are young fascists. And I, I, I promise you, they are all insanely pro-gun. They are gun maniacs. Hoplomaniacs. And now, a public service announcement. Hoplomania, the unreasonable, degenerate, and dangerous love of guns found in a few white males of a rightward persuasion. These are telltale signs that you might be living with a hoplomania. Is he lying in bed, looking like a beached whale with guns all around him? Does he look like he's going to snap at any minute? Does he have a tantrum every day? Okay. When a car backfires, does he say the government did it? Is he ready to take arms against a tyranny where tyranny is defined as any government he doesn't like. Does he say guns are as nurturing as mother's milk? 
and that they prevent crime, and that if we just had a few more guns, we'd all live forever. My friends, you may be living with a hoplomania, and the public health statistics have proven in all seriousness that living in a house with a gun is many, many times more dangerous than not. Here's J. Edgar Hoover with a word about home security. Hello, this is J. Edgar Hoover. If you're concerned with home security, I don't go with a gun, okay? Hey, they let me out of hell so I can tell you the truth for a change. Uh, uh, guns just make it like 20 times more dangerous for everybody in the house. They're horrible. They're totally linked with suicide. They've been telling me this while I've been doing unthinkable things in the muck pits of hell. <laughs> hey you, if you're concerned about home security, Get a dog. Get a dog? Get a dog! Or get a dog. That's right. If you're interested in home security, forget the guns and get a dog. Not only are they brave, loyal, and just ridiculously obedient and sycophatic, dogs are an excellent defense against criminal invasion. Any former criminal will tell you a dog in a house of any size is a marked disincentive to invade. A marked disincentive to invade. Guns, by contrast, are one of the targets of criminals. Don't you know? Thousands of guns are stolen every year. If guns are outlawed, criminals won't have any guns to steal. Hey, that's turning the tables. If guns are outlawed, criminals won't have any guns to steal. Yay! It will be like merry old England, where the criminals have to use Hello and welcome to merry old England, where they cracked down on the guns long ago after a gun atrocity. England stepped up to the plate where the United States could not. They cracked down on the guns, and the crime rate has been going down ever since. Sometimes the gun guys will say there's a crime wave in England, but it's a crime wave they made up. I regret to say, Gun guys have a tendency to read all statistics as proving that guns aren't as nurturing as mother's milk. They're gun absolutists. They've gone off the deep end. Who did? the uh, Boston Marathon bombing, who is the Boston Bomber. And you see, we have just got the most incredible rock-solid argument. Yay! There is some hoplomaniac. Hoplomaniac? What are you talking about, Perry? Hoplomaniac, gun nut. <laughs> uh, maybe just define it as a white male of a rightward persuasion with an inordinate and unhealthy and may I say de 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 degenerate fondness for guns. Good God! Hoplophobia! America's in the grip of hoplomania, an almost insane obsession with guns. The streets are alive with violence. Everyone is jittery. The gun guys are terrified because they think they're coming for their guns and Perry Logan thinks they were primed to do something stupid. <laughs> An Arab would have gone up with the package. Running away and hiding is more like something a Baptist would do. Like something a Baptist would do? Yeah, like dressing up in women's clothing. This is J. Edgar Hoover. Yay! Now I'd like to do a silly little dance. And now, Magnum Oath. I'm a Magnum Oath, so what do you see? I'm a Magnum Oath, hey, 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 hey. Repeat after me. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, Perry Logan Band would like to do a number for you. The Perry Logan Band would like to do a special number uh, uh, called the Boston Bomber. Okay, actually, they threatened us. So, without further ado, we are gonna go down the Red Tunnel and hear this number by the Perry Logan Band! Those will be the male whites with their lower lip thrust out thusly. <laughs> 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 